So in today's video, I'll show you how to unbox and set up the Brother DS640 mobile document scanner. And I will be reviewing this device in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe so you're the first to know when that video is uploaded. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, please make sure to click on that bell icon so you're notified as soon as that video is uploaded. But in this video, I'll show you how to set it up on a Windows computer and then on a Mac. So let's go ahead, get it out of the box and start setting it up. So I've opened the box up. Let's see what's inside. The first thing you'll see is the quick setup guide. Hopefully you won't need this because I'll be walking you step by step through the setup process. But if you need it, it's always here. Next and very importantly, we have the USB cable. Then there's this little cardboard piece. We're just going to pull that out. And then all the way at the bottom of the packet, you find the device itself. So as you can see, I've removed the packaging from both the USB cable and the device itself. Now the DS640 is USB powered. It doesn't have a separate power cable or power adapter of any kind. So to begin setting it up, we're just going to plug the USB cable into the back of the device and then plug the other end into a computer. Until this point, the setup is identical, whether you use a Mac or a PC. So when setting it up on a Windows computer, what you're going to do is open up a browser window. I recommend using Google Chrome but you can pretty much use any browser you like. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And once the browser window opens up, I'm going to type in support.brother.com forward slash windows and hit enter. Then you're going to scroll down and select document scanner. Click on document scanner and then scroll down to find our model number, which is DS640. Click on DS640. Now it's time to select your OS version. And in most cases, it'll automatically select it for you. But if you're not sure what version your OS is, you can go into your Windows settings by clicking on the Windows button, then click Settings, and then click System, and scroll all the way down and click About. And there, under Device Specifications, you'll notice the system type. And in this case, it is 64-bit, and that's what I'm going to select. So jump back into your browser window. Make sure your specific version of the operating system is selected. In my case, it is the 64-bit, and then click OK. And then it brings you to the page that has the software that you need. And then what you have to do is come down to the Agree to the EULA and Download. Click on that, and you'll notice that the software package begins to download in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Once it's done downloading, double click to open it up. And now the installation software has opened up. Select your language, in my case it is English, then click next. And then it wants you to agree to the terms of the software agreement. Click on the I accept this license agreement, click next. And it's looking for a connection to the device. And then it lets you know that you have to connect your device to the computer using a USB cable, which we've done already, then tap next. And then it asks you what type of installation you want. I just recommend going with the standard installation and then hit next. And it lets you know that it is installing the print and scan software. And then it asks whether you'd like to install additional software. They offer you three options, paper port, power PDF, and Presto. Now it's up to you whether you do this, but for now, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to click next. Then it lets you know that the installation is now complete. Click finish. And as soon as you do that, it tries to open up the iPrint and scan software. And it wants you to agree to the terms and conditions. So click agree and then click OK. And as soon as that piece of software opened up, you can actually select your machine. So you go to the bottom right hand corner, click select your machine. And you'll notice that the DS640 is now available. Click on that. Click OK, and it lets you know that the machine is now available. Click OK, and you're now ready to scan your first document. And that's pretty much all the setup you need to do on a Windows computer. So when setting it up on a Mac, the procedure is pretty much identical to the Windows setup. 
Make sure that the Brother DS640 is plugged into your Mac. And once it's plugged in, you'll notice that the LED button above the Start Stop button will blink a few times and then will turn a solid green. The next step is to open up a browser window. I recommend Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you'd like. And once that browser window opens up, you want to type in support.brother.com forward slash Mac and then hit enter. And then it asks you to select your product category, which is document scanner. So you wanna click on document scanner, and then you wanna scroll down on the next window and select your model number, which is in our case, DS640. So on the next page, it has selected the Mac option for us, but we still need to select our OS version, which is the Mac OS version. And the simplest way to find your Mac OS version is to go up to the top left-hand corner and click on that little Apple icon on the top left-hand corner. And then you wanna click on About This Mac and it opens up a tiny little window that tells you about your Mac, gives you all the information about your Mac. In my case, I'm running Mac OS version 11.1. So that's the version that I need to select. You can select whatever version it is that you're currently running. So I don't have the option of 11.1. I have the option of Mac OS 11. I'm gonna select Mac OS 11, hit OK. And then it gives you a few different options for things you can install. So the first thing I recommend doing is clicking on the scanner driver and it asks you to agree to the terms and conditions. So click agree to the end user license agreement and download and you'll notice on the bottom left hand corner it's downloaded that file you want to double click it to open it up and it says that it's opening it up and you'll notice that it has opened up a piece of software you want to double click on that and it's going to guide you through the next steps so you want to click continue and then click continue again and it asks you whether you agree to the terms and conditions click agree and then click install and wait for it to install that software and then you can click close because you're done and it asks you at the end if you'd like to move it to trash i'd just move it to trash because you're done with this now the next thing that you want to do is go back to that browser page where we found the driver click the back button to go back to the original page click it twice to get back to the main download page. And on the main download page, we're gonna download the Brother Eye Print and Scan application by clicking on the link under the description, which should take us to the App Store. So click on that. And that opens up another window. And what you wanna do is click on the link that says click here to download the Brother Eye Print and Scan application for Mac, click on that, and it opens up a little dialog box letting you know that it would like to open this in the App Store. Click Open App Store. It then takes you to the App Store and finds the app. You wanna click Get and then Install, and it'll require your Apple ID and password. You want to enter that, and then click Get, and as soon as you click that, it begins downloading, and you wanna give it a few seconds to complete the process. And when it's done with that, click Open to open the app up. It now wants you to agree to some terms and conditions. We're just gonna click OK. And in the app, you'll notice an option, like in the Windows version of the app, to select your machine. So you wanna click Select Your Machine, and you'll notice that the DS640 has been found. So click DS640, click OK, and it lets you know that the DS640 has now been selected. Click OK again, and you're now ready to scan. And that's pretty much all the setup that you need to do on a Mac. You can insert a page into the machine, click scan, and you're ready to go. If you're looking to buy the Brother DS640, I'll leave a link right below the video. And this brings us to the end of the unboxing and setup of the DS640. Hope this video has been useful. If it has, please hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for that full review. And if you're already subscribed, please remember to click on that bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.